Welcome to this video. In this video I will talk about economics tab of Aspen Plus in simulation environment. At the end of this video, you will know about each command in economics tab and purpose of every command. So, before starting the video, I suggest you to on the subtitle of this video it will be really helpful for you to understand the lecture properly. Thanks. To follow along with me, open Aspen Plus in your laptops and computers so you can understand the lecture completely. Now, I hope you all have opened the Aspen Plus. So, go to the simulation environment and from there go to the economics tab. You can see that only prepare group is active and all of the remaining groups are inactive. This is because they work with simulation. So first open the simulation, I have shown a procedure, in my previous video, that how to open simulation from the examples, already present in the Aspen Plus. If you know how to open simulation, then it is great. If not, then, don't worry, pause this video, and play the previous video, and see the start of video, to learn how to open simulation, from examples of Aspen Plus. And then come back to this video. So, welcome back, I hope you all have opened the simulation, in your laptops and computers or whatever device you are using. I have opened ethylene plant back end separation example from the Aspen Plus examples. Now, go to the economics tab, of simulation environment, and you can see that, still majority of the commands, are not available. This is because, we don't have an active economics analysis. Don't worry we will see, all of the commands as we further go in this video. Now, the first group we have is prepare group. This group contains, stream price, process utilities, and cost options. Stream price command, opens the stream price form, to specify prices for streams, and view stream price results. Click it to open the stream price window. In this menu, you can select the stream, and then, specify its cost, by writing its value in price section. I am not going in details. As this is just an overview video, I will just tell you, what is the use of each command, but go in details in the upcoming videos. Now, the second command is, process utilities, process utilities command is use this to open the utilities form, to specify process utilities used in the simulation. As you can see, that some of the process utilities are already defined in the simulation, like power, which is electrical utility. You can also define new utilities to the process, by clicking new button. From there you can name the utility you want, and also copy utility, from this drop down menu. The next command in the prepare group is cost options, this command is used to open the costing options form, to specify the costing template, and other Aspen properties economic analyzer options, and currency symbols and conversion factors. Congratulations! You have finished the first group. A round of applause for all of you. Keep on learning soon you will be able to know, what each command do in economics tab, of Aspen Plus. Now, the second group in economics tab is, economics solver group. Activate economics command, start or stop Aspen process economic analyzer running in the background. It must be started to enable other functions. If you stop it in this way, the files produced are retained and can be reused later. When you activate it, Aspen Plus also loads data, writing out the variables in a file, overwriting any previous version of this file, and sends it to Aspen Process Economic Analyzer. So, to activate this, check this box. And it will start to load data. Once the data is loaded, you will see other commands are also now available in Economics tab. And if you check in Activated Analysis Dashboard, you will see, that Economics. The second command is, auto-evaluate. When this command is checked, 
it automatically run economic evaluation at the end of every successful flow sheet run. Now the third command is delete scenario command, this command discard the files produced for Aspen process economic analyzer. Use this command to completely restart the economic analysis, as you might do after making major changes. Third group in the economics tab is, status group. These status indicators displays the state of the costing calculation. Fourth group is, integrated economics group, this group is only available, if you have marked the economics active. The first command in integrated economics group is, map command, it is also known as view command. Or modify command, as this command is used to view, and modify the mapping of unit operation models into equipment, for Aspen process economic analyzer. If data is not loaded, also load it. If you have not run the simulation, then run it. Otherwise it show message to run simulation. After processing, it will show map option, you can map selected unit, or all units, also you can use last mapping, and so on. I am cancelling this, because I am not going in details, in this video. Size command. Perform sizing calculations in Aspen process economic analyzer. If needed, also load data and generate and use the default mappings. Next command is view equipment command, this command displays a summary of the results from Aspen process economic analyzer. As we have run the cost and mapping, so the summary is available. The second last command of this group is evaluate command, this command perform costing calculations in Aspen process economic analyzer. If necessary, also load data, generate and use default mappings, and size equipment. You can see that, evaluation is marked as tick, means that evaluation has been done. Investment analysis open the investment analysis spreadsheet produced by Aspen process economic analyzer, in the Excel. Now click this to get analysis report, in Excel sheet. It might take some time, so keep calm, and wait. Now. The Excel sheet is available, and you can see your analysis report. The second last group is, unnamed group. Send to APEA command, export an XML results file to Aspen Process Economic Analyzer. This is only available, when economics analysis is not active, so, I am unactivating this economics analysis, by just unchecking the economics active. Now, the command is available, and click it to open the Aspen Plus Economic Analyzer. Here is the Aspen Plus Economic Analyzer, remainder, we are not going in details. Now, the last group is, Overlays group. It contains a single command, that is, settings command, this command is now unavailable, Uff. now this is only available if economics analysis is activated, so I am activating economics analysis, now. You can see that settings command is available. Settings command specify options for flow sheet overlays. Choose whether operating cost, capital cost, installed cost, or weight is used to determine the blocks with highest cost, and how many highest cost blocks are highlighted. Also specify whether the overlays are displayed. Overlays appear as green rings around the blocks with highest costs. If these blocks appear inside hierarchy blocks, the hierarchy blocks are circled. Tool tips over these blocks display a summary of their cost. I am not applying any of the settings, and click close. Well done, you have made at the last of the video. A round of applause for you. I hope that now, you are able to know the name and purpose of each command, present in economics tab. So, that's all for today. See you all, in next video. Till then, stay blessed.